hello and welcome to our channel so today in this video we will see like how to install this AWS CLI in our Mac and Windows so before starting this video we need to understand the some a basic of AWS access key so like AWS access key are the critical part of the authentication process for AWS identity and access management or in short form like I am they are used to sign programmatic access that you make to AWS such as like a, a AWS command line interface CLI or making an API request and AWS access key consists of two parts so first one is like access key ID and second one is secret access key and access key has a 20 character string and for secret access key you have a 40 character string and uh, you can use the access key in variety of ways like depending on programming language or tool you are using for example you can use them to make a request using AWS CLI or to make request to AWS using AWS SDKs and it is important to keep your access key secure and to rotate them regularly and you should also delete and you can also delete the access key that are no longer in use so this will help you to ensure that your AWS account is secure and that unauthorized users don't have to access your AWS resources and in last we can see some main points of a AWS access key like access key can be created or deleted or you can make him inactive and when we want to use them you can make him inactive <clears throat> and uh, like i am user can have two access key not more than two so you can create one or two not a more than two and last one is important because like uh, when you creating a say, access key and secret id uh, you make sure that you download the secret access key because later uh, aws not able to download you and you can only see the access key id so now we understand some basic of aws uh, access key now we can install our cli in our mac and windows so first we need to uh, I'm pro i will provide this document like installing or updating the latest version of aws cli uh, the, this aws official website uh, where you will get the information about like how to install and update the cli so in you can see like three options are available like a linux or mac os or windows so in this video we will see like mac and mac os and windows so process is the same for both like uh, configuring the aws uh, CLI the process is same so if you do in a Mac uh, its process is same for Windows so first we install the uh, AWS CLI in our Mac OS so when I expand this Mac OS you can see they give the some introduction so there are three methods you can install CLI in our Mac first one is like geo installer second one is like command in line installer and third one is command line current user so we are using as a all users so first we need to run this curl command so for that just copy this command and open your terminal in the terminal uh, just run this command for checking if you have already installed the aws cli on your local or not just run aws so it will show if you uh, a cli is not installed they will show like command not found and if you already install your com uh, in your say in your local so it will show you like a aws help or uh, some uh, some information about the AWS or you can just run AWS version it will show no command found now we need to follow some steps which already mentioned in the uh, documentation of AWS so we are doing in Mac so just open this one and second one is we are doing so first we need to run this curl command we are we installing some package from the AWS so just run this command this will install the package so it will take some time so after completing this one we can continue on video so we install a, uh, this AWS CLI package in our local now we need to run this command cdo installer so this will unzip the folder 
they will ask your local computer password just enter and it will installing the your package in your Mac so just wait for completing the all steps then we can continue now the you can see that upgrade was successful uh, you just run AWS uh, you need if you want to see just click on AWS so you can see like uh, when we run the AWS it will showing some like AWS help or AWS command help now we want to see like where we download this AWS so just type the which AWS it will show you like uh, where the location of AWS so like user local bin and AWS now we run the uh, we, now we need to want, want to know like version of AWS just run AWS version so it will show you like AWS CLI 2.9 Python 3.9 so we all uh, now we install the AWS CLI 2.9 now we need to configure the our now we need to configure our a uh, i am user so just go to our end console so we currently we are in our root account uh, now we need to create one i am user and give the uh, give the permission as a admin so just go search in uh, just go to to i am and click on users now currently we don't have any users so just click on add users and name as a I am admin and we have options like access key for programmatic access and second one is like password AWS console access so you can give the both one if you want to users to access from console and first one is like a programmatic access for CLI and SDK so we are doing that for so I am just uh, clicking uh, ticking this option you can tick the password console uh, password also so we already covered this uh, we already cover this section in a previous video you can watch our, in our channel and just click on tick on option this programmatic access click on next permissions and we don't have any users uh, group users uh, just click on the attach existing policy and first one we can see administer access so just click on this one and click next you can add the tags but i am not doing next review create the users so after creating successfully a user you can see like we have one access key id and secret access key just download this one in your locally and save in somewhere save save this file for your future reference so never share like uh, this access key id is a public but this secret access key is a private so never share your ex secret access key with anyone so if someone can know your ex uh, secret access key they can use your aws account and resources so just i am downloading this csv solve access key so you can see that uh, csv file is downloaded just close this one tab and uh, now you can see that i am admin is there so just click on this user which we already uh, this one created now you can just click on the security credentials and uh, here uh, we can assign the mfa we already covered this topic in our previous video you can see that also and you can this see the option like access key so i already told you like you can create a new access key again so like uh, you can create two access keys so one uh, already we created uh, we can make them make them in inactive or so just i'm clicking on this inactive deactivate this and you can delete you can delete this one also so so i am uh, they are asking the access key just copy this access key i can delete this one i can delete this access key and create new access key so this one is new uh, now you can see that our new access key is created so just copy this one access key and go to our aws cli and uh, enter that aws so if you uh, enter this like aws configure and enter this command so aws will what will do like uh, they will uh, set this user as a default 
so you can create the profile in AWS CLI also so I am creating one profile like uh, just entering AWS configuration and then enter hash slash slash entering slash slash profile and then profile name so I am adding as I am admin general and enter now they asking the access key so I am just uh, pasting this access key enter and paste this now they are asking the AWS access key so never share your this as a secret access key but I am showing for your demo and I will delete after this uh, recording so this 40 correct access key is there so just copy this one and paste here but never share this secret access key and again again I am saying to you uh, so just enter now they are asking the uh, reason name so I am entering like a US East one you can enter your uh, reason name or like a, if you don't want so they default if you did not enter the reason name the AWS default select the reason name then they are asking the format of then you can ignore this one now we just configure our IAM user in AWS CLI so for checking that it is correct or not just run AWS as 3 LS so it it will surely unable to locate your credential because we created the profile uh, so we did not set uh, that profile as a default so we need to give the specific name of that profile also so just if you do forget your profile name you can check that also like here run the command AWS. so we created like I am admin general so run done as AWS as 3 ls profile i am admin as a general so it will uh, show you blank list so because we don't have any s3 bucket so just create one s3 bucket so i'm going to s3 bucket So you can see that uh, we created one S3 bucket and uh, you can run this command again and you can see that one bucket is available. So we successfully uh, configured our IAM admin user in AWS CLI. Now next we see this setup in our uh, in Windows. So process is same for Windows and Mac so for uh, we already see the for mac now we are seeing for windows so just download this package uh, which is already is there so i'm click on that package and they automatically downloading the aws cli package so after completing this aws cli package just click on this uh, one and they ask me some steps so uh, complete the all steps so after completing the all the steps the AWS CLI will install in your, in your local and the other uh, next process are same as we follow in Mac so like set up in the AWS in your uh, in your terminal and set up in IAM users in your AWS account so that's all we need to do in a Windows so we completed the CLI setup in both uh, Windows and Mac and we configured the uh, uh, configured the AWS IAM user as admin in CLI and see the S3 bucket list in our CLI terminal. So if you like this video, please uh, subscribe our channel and uh, we launch some more videos on AWS. You can watch that also. So thank you so much for watching this video.